Good morning, everyone. I'm Hartford HealthCare's Tina Verona coming to you live from West Farms Mall, where I am happy to be joined by Karen Pagliaro, who's a registered nurse at Hartford HealthCare at Home. Karen, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, well, you just wrapped up a very informative session to um, quite a crowd here in the mall for a Walk to Wellness event, which is held every month. We were talking about home care, and, you know, holidays are approaching. Um, you know, maybe children are coming home to their adult parents, uh, might, might notice some things are a little bit not quite right. What should um, uh, people be looking for when it comes to aging parents? So one of the things is they need to really look at the house. What's going on in their home? Is it not like what they've had in the past? In other words, are, is it more cluttered? Is it dirty? Is there any kind of a smell? Are the parents having issues with toileting? And are they forgetting things? Is their checkbook the right way um, with things in the register? And are there bills on the table that are piling up? If those are questions and then the answer is yes, then they might want to look into getting more care. And one way they can do it is with the Center for Healthy Aging because they'll be able to provide some um, solutions, some recommendations so that the child can have the parent get the care that they need. And, and one of those um, benefits to the Center for Healthy Aging is that they do free home assessments. Um, so if you kind of are thinking, well, maybe somebody should come in, it's a lot easier to have somebody come in and look. So tell us about the home assessments. So they do um, contact the physician and they do get an order from the physician to come out and make that visit. And then they're able to see does this person need a lifeline where they if you know you hear it on uh, TV a lot I've fallen and I can't get up do they need a, a med dispenser do they need home care and you know if they do which home care is the right fit we at Hartford Healthcare at home are able to go out into the home we, we cover just about every town now in Connecticut I think we're not in three towns and we're able to provide care under uh, insurance typically. So if it's a senior, it'd be mostly Medicare or Medicare Advantage plan and help them get back on the path to wellness. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, so Hartford Healthcare Center for Healthy Aging as well as Hartford Healthcare at Home, two um, separate entities, but tell us the difference between the two. Okay, so the Center for Healthy Aging is a, more of a referral source. So if you are, have questions, don't know what to do, you're able to contact them and they're able to help you make the referral that you need. Harford Healthcare at Home has been in existence since 1901. We were, I believe, maybe the first home care agency in Connecticut, and we are uh, a nonprofit. We're able to provide care to people in their home under an insurance, uh, and we're able, our main thing is to make them or help them get back to their former level of wellness. We put the patient first. The care plan is surrounding the patient and what the patient's wishes and goals are. It's, um, we work under a physician's order, and we take almost every insurance um, available as well. And I think that's what's nice, too, is that you work directly with the physician um, about the patient, so you have that direct contact. Exactly. So what happens is the nurse or the physical therapist will go out and make that initial visit. They will complete a, com a, an assessment. It's called an OASIS. And then once the assessment is done, they will take the uh, assessment, provide other information, and send orders to the physician. From there, the uh, plan of care is developed, and then they are able to make the provide the care they need in the home to that client. And if the person, say a nurse goes out first and they're having trouble walking, they can get a physical therapist. If they're having trouble with bathing, they can get an occupational therapist. Financial trouble, they can get a social worker to come in. And then if they are having um, issues and they need a little bit of help with um, bathing, insurance will cover a home care aid as long as there's a skilled need in the home. So to give you an example, it might, they might say, we'll send a home care aid out twice a week for an hour each visit. I think, too, people sometimes get confused, like, well, my neighbor has this person, they come in every day. There's a very big difference between 
home care, skilled care, and a home care aide, and then some other programs that are out in the community like Connecticut uh, Community Care and Corporate or Medicaid, which may pay for an aide more often. And I think that's what's important too is when you have that assessment because there's a lot of things going on and this really kind of pinpoints exactly what services are needed and really zeroes in on the right type of care, home care, to come into the home. Exactly, exactly. I mean, most people don't even realize that there's home care until they need it, but once that nurse walks into your home and helps, it's it, it can be a godsend for a lot of people. It really can make a huge difference. It's, it's life-changing, it um, but, but what about to some folks out there, to adult children um, who have aging parents, who may be a little stubborn and may want to say, you know what, I'm going to be independent, I'm okay. How do you broach that subject that home care might be a viable option? So I think that's a great conversation for a child and their parent to have. But if you're still hitting roadblocks, it's really great to have the Center for Healthy Aging come in. Because when you have them come in, it's a third person. And there's no family connection. And that sometimes, I found anyways, like with my own parents, it's the advice of a professional that's not you that can help with making or getting the, the parent to make those decisions so that the care they need is provided. And I think another important question that um, viewers might want to know too is that the home care is provided by um, a staff that there are you know background checks and that they're highly qualified to provide the home care. So tell us a little bit about the staff qualification. So now what's um, needed is uh, anybody who is hired on to Hartford Healthcare at home, they do go on a background check, they are fingerprinted, and then they're brought on, they're given an extensive orientation, and joint visits are made so that they really can learn the best way to care, plus it's just because that person goes into the home doesn't mean there's not somebody in the office overlooking it too so if you take uh, our agency you know you're going to get the best nurse the best physical therapist possible because we do everything we can to ensure that we have qualified skilled caregivers it's so important that for people to know that um, when somebody does come into their home. Right. Karen Pagliaro, thank you so much thank for joining you. us this morning. Thank we appreciate you. it. And as always, thank you for joining us. We hope you learned a little bit today about home care. So important and so needed in so many lives. I'm Hartford HealthCare's Tina Verona coming to you live from West Farms Mall. We'll see you soon.